What's going on everybody? So today I'm out here answering a question that I have been asked out in the community. So this, this question is about material tests. So here's the question. And so in this post, I'm seeing a lot of random things that are happening. And I really think it comes down to understanding how to use the material test feature card inside of Lightburn. So we're gonna jump into just how that's getting set up. Um, I'll set it up so that way it looks like this user, uh, how I think they have it set up and how to make those changes. If you're part of the laser community and you're looking for additional help, or if you're looking for what your next laser is gonna be, I highly recommend that you join a couple of groups that I manage. Uh, so you've got the laser guys group, or also if you're really looking to see what is your next laser or what is going to be your first laser, I highly recommend joining the one laser group here. So there I'm very active along with my partners, uh, Josh Wright from Wright Woodworks and uh, Cam Edmonds from Edmonds Wood Shop. So now that that's over, let's get to the question. All right, so I have got my test card set up, how I think this user might have it set up because um, it's hard to judge without uh, really seeing it hands-on. But if you look, so there's a dotted line on the outer edge. These are a solid fill or a solid cut line, and you've got a fill on all of my text here. So to best understand, the, the test card is actually split into three pieces. If you look down here, all of these uh, layers, which tie to these layers here, are a different part of the test card. So the material settings. So this is actually all the boxes that you're gonna see. And then it gets overridden by what you select here. And then you have this one that is actually the text that's around the edge of the cards. So whether that's gonna be fill or a line, that's all controlled here. And then your border. So your border is going to be whether it gets cut out, so the actual outside line. So for us, that was dotted. So we saw it's a perforated mode. So going back into here, you look at the preview, you can see, hey, so fill on these, line on this, and then dotted line, oh, dotted line right here. So in order to make sure that this is working how this user is expecting, we're gonna go in and change these things. So our text is fine. It looks like his text is filling fine, but this material settings, we need to go in here and we need to change this to fill. And so now we're gonna turn this crosshatch off because he's on a CO2, so we really want it just to go left to right. So we're gonna leave it at zero. So left to right on those fills and okay. Um, so now if we just hit preview there, it will show, okay, so now these are all filling. Okay, so we got that done. Um, so now our next thing is to look at this line and why this line is dotted. So we're gonna go in and say, okay, here, we're gonna go into the border settings and this perforation mode. So that is likely what is causing those to come out as a dot or a line. So we're gonna turn that off and then we're gonna say, okay. So now we go into our preview again and you can see that now that line is a solid line. So really making sure that you understand that all of these different things control different parts of the test card and you can just straight up turn them on and off. So turn off enable text, turn off enable border, and then you just get a bunch of boxes that are running. And then you go ahead and turn it back on if you just want the, the text. And then go ahead and turn the border back on if you just want the outside border added as well. So from the best of what I can see in the post and the information that was given, I do think that this is the issue. Um, I think it's, it's really just understanding how it functions. So I hope that this helps the user and helps anybody else out there that maybe is struggling a little bit with the material test card. Um, like I said, if you're looking for help or looking for your next laser, join the groups. I'll put them down in the description so that way you can easily just link to them. Um, but yeah, that's where I am a lot of the day and I am helping users, whether it's with uh, problems with their machines, whether it is problems with light burn and selecting your next laser. Um, I am an affiliate for one laser. I'm an affiliate for a lot of other companies as well. And so that's how a lot of my revenue and income is generated. So please, anytime you see any of my links or anything, give them a click. And if you're buying, 
help me out. So I, again, I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.